Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Dylan, aka Dirt Bike Dill. Today we're gonna be doing some maintenance on the KTM. We're gonna be installing a new water pump propeller for my KTM. A couple weeks ago, I noticed the water pump was uh, leaking a little bit of coolant into my oil. I uh, changed the seal out and then um, when we were doing that, we actually broke one of the little uh, plastic propellers trying to get it off, so went ahead and ordered the uh, upgrade kit for the KTM, this um, nice ultra cooling one. It's like a stainless steel or aluminum, something like that, but it looks way more like aggressive than the uh, the stock little plastic one in there. And then on the back here, it says it's supposed to run up to an average of uh, 14 degrees cooler. So yeah, we're basically just gonna be doing that to the bike right now. Um, another thing you guys probably noticed is why is the seat off and everything else. Um, basically, I got new grips for the bike and a new throttle tube and stuff like that. I went to go put it on last weekend to go and ride for you guys to do a typical Sunday ride. And well, I noticed when I took the throttle tube off, throttle cable was uh, pretty frayed. So the new one should be here tomorrow. So I should be able to throw that bad baby on there and then should be all set for this weekend. And then I got all my dune stuff ready over here. I got a new air filter, got my um, flag mount, got the flag, hour meter, flag itself. Then I got the uh, air filter skins to keep all the extra sand out, stuff like that. Got my paddle tire over there. Then I got two of those five gallon gas cans. I'm like super prepared and I'm so hyped for Glamis. Oh my God. So basically the two things you need to do to drain the coolant are you need just a little socket wrench size 10 millimeter and then just a little drain bucket cause shit's gonna go everywhere. And then it's just this little bowl right here. It's the 10 millimeter. Basically I already have the radiator cap like popped off. All you gotta do is just unloosen that and then hold this bucket up close and all the coolant's gonna pop out. We'll let it drain. So let me put the camera on the tripod and then yeah. Alright, this shit's about to come out everywhere right now. And here we go. Alright, now we just sit there and just let it drain. All right, so to get this cover off, all we gotta do is take off these four bolts right here. They should all be eight millimeter, and then you should be able to just pull this thing off right here. Also, I know these two far right ones by the uh, exhaust side are the longer screws. So just keep note of that if you're gonna do this yourself. I mean, when you go to put it back together, you'll kind of realize it anyway, but yeah, just don't do that. So yeah, then you got the two smaller screws. Oh, here we go. There we go. Got the cover off, make sure the gasket is all good. Looks good. I mean, I just put a new one in there because I put the new seal inside, but all right. So now that we got the cover off, as you guys can see, you got the propeller right there. Hold up, let me shine some uh, some light on there so y'all can see the broken one. There's the broken one in the top right corner right there. <laughs> but yeah, that thing's just cheap plastic. And then we got the nice little aluminum or whatever the hell that thing is, stainless steel. So yeah, all you got to do is just take a little... I think it's a six millimeter, maybe a four, I think it's a six, but just gotta unscrew that and then we'll pop the new one on there. Yeah, this thing looks super nice and aggressive. You can go and get these things on um, jeffslavensracing.com. Uh, I'll post a link for you guys. I just looked up a YouTube video, honestly, of what new propeller to get, cause I couldn't find the OEM one. I was gonna get a whole new Boyson um, rebuild kit, but then I saw this, so yeah. So that little spindle, I don't know if you guys can see on the angle right here, it starts to spin. So you want to take a little flathead or something to kind of pry it so it doesn't spin on you. So now it's just loosening like that right there. I guess you guys can't see what I'm doing. Well, I'm basically, I'm just holding it flat up against one of the propellers and loosening it. Let me show you guys a quick little close up. So basically, there's the propeller. I was just holding the uh, flathead like flush against it so the propeller couldn't turn because when you try to lefty loosey, it wants to rotate left. So you just gotta make sure it stays straight. You don't want to put too much pressure on it or you'll snap it like 
how we snapped the plastic one in the beginning. So yeah, now I got the bolt pretty much loose. All I gotta do is unscrew it, get it out, and we can put the new one in. It's a long ass screw, guys. There we go. Phew. All right, and we should be able just to pull this propeller out of here. There we go. Got the old one off right there. You guys can see that is just cheap little plastic. There's the bent side right there. Not bent side, completely broken side. Derp. Yeah, you can definitely tell that one's way better. You got some light on it. Yeah, that thing is trash compared to this one. Oh my God. KTM's gonna run it a lot cooler, even though it already runs cool. And I'm still always in the power band. And there we go, she's all the way in there. So yeah, let me get a close up real quick. Yeah, that thing looks a lot better than the plastic piece of crap that was in there. So let's go ahead, screw it in, and then yeah, fill this thing back up with coolant after we uh, put the water pump cover back on. You wanna make sure you get it nice and snug, but you don't wanna over tighten it. See, now it's starting to spin a little bit. You wanna just get your flat head, get it, hold it tight. Just make sure it's nice and snug. And there you go, she's all the way on there. So let's go ahead and screw the pump on. Go ahead and plop this baby back on. And we can go ahead and put all our bolts in. Remember the two big screws were on the right side. All right, we got all of them snug right now. Let's go ahead and do all the corners and get them torqued down to spec. I mean, I'm not using a torque wrench, but it's not over snugging it. Sweet, we got all four in there. We can go ahead and put our drain bolt back in. I mean, we could have done that after we drained the coolant, but I didn't feel like doing it at that time anyway. I wanted to take the cover off. Go ahead and tighten that down, make sure not to over torque it. And then yeah, we got ourselves the whole new upgraded water pump propeller inside there, guys. Also got these Tusk foot pegs. Gonna try those out next ride. They're the oversized ones. They're a lot bigger than the stocks. So those are really nice, pretty sweet. Then I'm gonna have that new throttle cable. And yeah, this thing still has that new top end. I haven't ridden it since I got it put in cause I was gonna go ride it that weekend when I got the new top end put in. But then, yeah, I went to go put the new grips and the new throttle tube on because it felt a little sticky anyway and it was a little chipped up and that's when I noticed the damn throttle cable was frayed. But, I mean, I'm glad I noticed it because if that would have snapped in the middle of the trails because we were going to go trail riding, that would have been really bad and I would have been stranded, had to push my bike and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, so anyways, let's uh, fill the bike up with coolant right now. And yeah, basically once it's topped off, you can go ahead and screw your cap back on and then you're good to go. Well, alrighty guys, that was how to put in the um, upgraded water pump pellet for like, any KTM two stroke. It really works for anything like 2007 and up, something like that, maybe even younger models. But yeah, it was really easy. All we had to do is just take that cover off, take the propeller off, between the coolant, fill the coolant. Really easy stuff. You don't gotta take your freaking bike into a mechanic and pay them like 80 bucks for an hours of labor work to do this. I mean, I could have taken it to the homie Caleb over at uh, DRC Motorsports out in Queen Creek, Arizona. But um, yeah, it's literally like a five minute job here in my house and he knows that I ain't gonna drive all the way out there to do that. Any other type of motor work though, he already knows I'm taking this baby too. And same thing with the Supermoto. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Make sure to drop a like subscribe and comment down below my name's dylan aka dirt bike dill catch you in the next episode probably make a video when i put in the throttle uh, throttle cable just to show you guys how to do that if you were curious anything like that it's pretty much the same on almost any motorcycle or dirt bike and yeah i'll end the video right here so later